I'm gonna do a new thing on wrestling today. Um, I got my John Cena shirt on, so I'm gonna talk about this brand. So, um, let's talk about some things that's been going on. Since 2013, we've been having a little bit of, um, the audience has been vocalizing how things have changed, not for the better, at WWE. Um, they, um, for the last 10 years, there, um, there's, John Cena has always been like, hello, the guy. And now, and then, 10 years is a long time for somebody to be so important and so, um, put out there by the media and he's the number one guy everybody seems to know who he is he's the brand and now we're in that point that they need a change we need a change um, to see who will be the next guy and to be honest I don't think they found him yet I mean I love me some Daniel Bryan okay but a guy has to have the whole whole package, and I don't think, and I this is my opinion. I don't think that um, Daniel Bryan has the whole package. He's been on the Total Diva show with his lovely fiance Brie um, Bella, of course, and he they're I mean they're in love and all that, but all this facial hair and. I don't, I'm not attracted to it at all. When you put a face like John Cena in that body together, I mean, and that smile, that grin, that's a guy that you want to be as a brand name. And Randy Orton being the undisputed, as he's been saying, the first, but really, John, um, Chris Jericho was the first undisputed champion. Everybody knows that, right? Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought everybody knew that Chris Jericho was the first one. And I don't know why he keeps saying that, but he's not. And sure, he's a pretty boy too, but he has the worst, the worst attitude I've ever seen from a WWE, WWE superstar. He's just, let's just say horrible. And now that we have the, the war run was done. And what was typical that Batista came back and then won? That was so, it's, it's, it's just, we've been there, done that. We've, done, uh, we've seen a ton of people come back and then win, but this was too much. He only came back Monday and he won the War Rumble Sunday. I don't think that was fair, but I did like that Shield dude came out of nowhere and and um, and struck down Kane's over the top of the rope. Um, that was amazing. He did really well, and that would have been nice if he could have won, because then there would be somebody that we wouldn't think would be a number one contender for the WWE Championship. And see how he will take it, how far he could take it. Because I think he could beat Randy Orton. He can even beat John Cena. He can even beat um, Daniel Bryan. I have no doubt that. What's his name? Hold up. I'm going to get his name. I know he's one of. He's related to. Um, uh, the, the Rock and the Usos and Rikishi. If y'all didn't know that, he is. <laughs> I just can't figure out his name. Roman R R Ryan's. Whatever. I'm going to put a picture right here. He's, I love him. He's my kind of guy. I know. John Cena. Roman. Totally different, but not really. Long hair. Black long hair. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so. If he would have won Royal Rumble, it would have been great. 
They don't know where they're going with this. And the authority? Really, Kay? Really? Can pick any other storyline than putting on a suit and being beside Triple H and Stephanie. Hmm. Okay. Let's just say it's Mark Calloway can see you now. I, you know. And we'll get to Mark Calloway, which, aka, that's the Undertaker. I don't know how he plays a picture in this WrestleMania yet. And it's kind of short. He should have been back by now. Depending on who is going to fight him at WrestleMania. But I haven't, there's haven't been any word or anywhere about him coming back. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Brock Lesnar. He's not worth mentioning. But I did see WWE. Um, the, um, I don't watch SmackDown. I'm sorry. I just don't. It's not. They ha Half the time, they don't have any of the full-time roster on there. And I just stopped wanting to see it. And normally, you know the difference between full-time and part-time. Part-time are people like Chris Jericho and people like, you know, people that you don't normally see that much. They come back for six months and then they leave. The Rock is under that category because he said he would never leave, but then we haven't seen him <laughs> in like forever. I don't know if Brock Lesnar is now part-time because you, you don't see him that much. But, yeah, part-time versus full-time people. Like, John Cena's a full-timer, Randy Orton's a full-timer. You know, they spend their whole life in the WWE. That's what a full-time wrestler is and a part-time. Moving on. Everybody knows that the WWE Network starts February 24th, 2014. And I'm not sure, um, I don't know what it's going to be. To be honest, so the camera turned off. So everybody knows that WWE is having their own network. They're coming out with their own network. I don't know if Raw will still be on. That's a question that I don't know if I can answer. It. Like, if WWE will still have their Raw on live TV on USA or in keep all the other shows and then if you missed it you could just go on WWE Network to watch it again but we only have uh gotta get a close up on that sorry we only have 25 took a picture 25 days 16 hours 37 minutes and 46 seconds until we have WWE Network and it will be at $9.99 a month. But six time, um, to be honest, you have to read the bottom line because it does say that we need um, you have to have a six month subscription. That means you have to pay. Um, you have to pay $60. Right, sixty. Okay, so it cut off again. I have to get that fixed. I'm sorry, but um, uh, we know that WWE Network is coming, and you can be able to watch pay per view and on streaming twenty four. I would be streaming twenty four hours a day, but then you still have to pay sixty dollars. 60 to because you have to pay for um, six months up in advance, so you won't be paying nine dollars for it, you have to pay sixty dollars every six months. So, um, every six months, yeah. So, uh, comment below if you're you're gonna do it, if you're gonna get um, um, subscribe, guys, are like about WWE and 
what would you change if you got a job there because I would like to get a job there too that's one of my I have more than one dream job <laughs> so comment below and I'll talk to you guys later peace and love bye Thank you.